Hello everyone. Uh, I've emptied this out again. You can see. I'll get a pen. That's the cathode. Yeah, the anode. Sorry, that's the anode. Cathode. Cathode. Now, I've had this out and in more times than I care to tell you about. There is no bluing of the oxide that normally relates to titanium when in its cell. What we've got it as a positive. There's the positive, there's the diode through into the nuts through there. The gaps between the nuts, as you know, are 10, I think from 4 millimeters to 10 millimeters. Right. I think it must be the way this cell set up. Now it's all south field as you know and I'll take this nut down here. The nut that's just a blanking nut. Same over here. It's a strong south field all over. It's 316L stainless steel nuts and bolts. They yeah, the thread from the threaded bar. Now before you go rushing out and buying this uh, titanium foil, I had tried with a magnet cell, uh, magnets inside this, as magnet plates, like this, and you can see the bluing of the oxide, it normally associates with the positive on titanium, same on that plate. Different plate altogether, big huge thick plate. It's all 99.9% .9 titanium. This is the back end of one of these plates, and you can see the blue of the oxidation on the back side as well. Right now, I tried using these as a test to see if it was the plates. I put it in the same strength of uh, electrolyte in here, and as you can see, it just turned blue. And it, lucky if it pulled 100 milliamps. I used six magnets on each per bar, it still didn't work. I tried it with these plates with mild steel on the inside and I think I put on 12 magnets four on each side blocks of the uh, three try the polarity in both directions you can see the oxide uh, the oxidization on both sides so it's not that it isn't electrolyte it isn't having the magnets in any particular order. Now I'm going to fill this up with fresh uh, deionized water and then add some electrolyte. I'll just put the camera over here. There's a fresh bottle. My wife's just bought it. Switch on the meter for the ampage. Switch in for the volts. Uh, plug this in. Get some power. Switch it on. Nothing. Ten milliamps. It's 12 and a half volts, but it's showing 12.69. Absolutely. Right. I'll add some electrolyte. Here it is. Two and a half amps, three amps. And I 
that's gone like a bar over there. 10.36 volts. Ampage will just keep climbing up all the time. These titanium anodes are working. I don't know how, it shouldn't be happening, but I'm not going to stand too close to this because uh, it's bubbling my pill. I put a new light up here so you could see inside the cell a bit better. Now it has to be the way the cell set up. It can't be anything else. It's got to be this valve effect where the electrons are traveling up through the center. It won't stop, it'll just get higher and higher and higher. It's flattening on my arm just now, so keep it out of the way. 3.33 amps and still rising, and the voltage has gone down. 3.5. Oh, another thing. Uh, I had this running at 3 amps for about an hour, and it went warm. Not hot, it went warm. So I really don't know what else to tell you guys. I could do with some help or some, some suggestions. Anything that would explain what's happening in this cell. It's just a wee bit controversial. As I say, the foil, you could buy it on eBay. I think it was half a meter by about six inches for 20 quid, so there's no MMO uh, plating on it. It doesn't work like this. It doesn't work in a magnet cell. It doesn't work on this titanium. This is the same as what's in there. Didn't work on there, 99% uh, titanium, pure titanium.